And this, this is for all the women and the girls and the babies who had to die before anyone realized that we too should read, that we too should write, that we too should breathe, and that we too women should live. Women. See, there is no reproduction without women. And really, to be honest with you, I could stop the poem right now because if we no longer made our bodies available for procreation, the world would literally die. And please understand that this is a threat. Dear world, if you refuse to see women, if you refuse to hear women, if you refuse to value women, we will kill you by way of extinction. Sincerely, every vaginal canal, every cervix, every ovary on the face of this planet. See, your mother is your first country, and she is the first place you lived. Can you imagine a world without reproduction? Who will feed your children without my breast? Who will solve your wars without my brain? Who will care for all of humanity without my womb? Imagine gynecological science without the Henrietta Lacks women, the most important black women in the history of DNA discovery. And I don't want to have to die for the world to know that my body is important. And we, need, and we need to learn from the failures of movements, movements that did not serve women. And we need to learn from the ones that do. Like the Gulabi Gang, a group of Indian women activists who respond to domestic abuse. And they wear pink sarees, and they are loud, and they are fierce. Or like the women in Argentina, not one less movement, who march and who organize against femicide after a 16-year-old girl was found dead and buried in her boyfriend's garden. These are the things we can do, and these are the things we must do, because menstruation is still a global issue, and periods and vaginas are not dirty words, and everyone on this planet... Because everyone on this planet at one point was a fertilized egg who attached themselves to the wall of a uterus, who fed off of and who survived from the uterine lining for oxygen and nutrients and protection. So the next time someone turns their face up at the mention of your uterus, you remind them that they fed off of a uterus, they received oxygen from the uterus, and they were protected by a uterine lining. We are life. We biology. We are this planet in human form. We are the river walkers. We are the brain of this species. And I want my niece Raina and my niece Haley and all the little girls to know they are worth saving, worth seeing, worth praising, worth loving, worth breathing. They are, and you are, and I am. See, I, I am 